Sir, you can state your name and where you're from. Thank you, Congressman. My name is Brad. I'm running around from Smyrna, Tennessee. I've uh, been there six years. And kind of back to what the lady before me was saying about we kind of say, oh, well, let them die. My daughter has cerebral palsy, and that's exactly what this bill will do to her. It's going to deny her treatment because she's not viable. I'm yes. telling you right now, she's the most viable person I've met. And she's the biggest fighter that I've ever met. Who gets treatment and who may get treatment and whether they're worthy of treatment or not. She has said, let's come up with solutions. The government's not the solution, it's the biggest problem. Yeah. And I don't know why for the life of me people would want to turn over their health care to an entity that took five days to get water to the Superdome after a hurricane and they want to run the health care. <laughs> Take the public plans. That's crazy. My plan right now, I'm busting my rear end to take care of my daughter. It's not your responsibility, it's mine. That she's going to be taken care of. And so I want you to tell me right now, just like you said, that you'll fight for her and that you'll fight to make sure that she's going to be able to have the coverage under private plans and not some government-run bureaucrat in Washington's corner. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Brad, my mother is 83 years old. She had an aorta uh, uh, valve replacement less than a year ago. She is a breast cancer uh, survivor. You know, if there was some type of a death count, she would be knocking on the door. I am opposed to anything that's anywhere close to rationing or any type of a death penalty for your daughter or for my mother or for anyone else. But it's all right for the VA, right, sir? Sure, it's all right for the VA, though, isn't it? Who can sit around, sir? 